In our last tutorial, I showed you how to cut this short, right? Just in case you haven't seen that video, I would advise you to first go and watch the video of the cutting step by step before we get into the sewing aspect. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to sew this step by step. And this is going to be our final, final result, as you can see right here on the screen. Firstly, smash the like button. That's very, very important. Smash the like button. And if you're yet to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe also. That's very, very important. So this is going to be our final result. And I'll be taking you guys through the process of doing this step by step. Just in case you are interested in learning more about fashion, you want to learn and become a professional, I do have a physical class with a curriculum that you definitely turn you to an expert for sure. And I do have an online class. A link will be below to my online classes and the phone number on the screen, you can just call me directly in order to get inquiry about my physical classes. I base in Aja, Lagos, precisely, just in case you're interested to know. So without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. As you've been waiting, let's get into it. And this is what you should achieve at the end of the day. So this is the last place in which we stopped. This is our shot. This is what it's going to look like after you cut your own two. You see the cuff at the end? This is what you're supposed to be having. So the next thing we are going to do is actually not that difficult, right? The whole process we want to do here is not that difficult. If you pay attention, you're going to get exactly the same results. So as we did previously, I marked the pocket cuff, right? That's the notch on the tip and the notch on the edge of the pants. You see the notch here? So what you're going to do first is to fold this. You're going to go ahead and fold this. You're not adding any interfacing. Just iron it and make sure that M is, is like fixed. And you can see the shape of the gaiters on the fabric. After that is done, you're going to cut your pocket. So now my pocket is a total height of 14 inches, right? 14 inches and the wideness is going to be seven inches so you're going to cut that in two which is going to be 14 inches by 14 inches and you're going to cuff the edge just like i cuff this edge right here you can see pay good attention now on this one you can see like i split it into two right so i add the lining to one side and the fabric at the other side pay good attention i want you to understand this that's why i'm taking my time to explain boom don't let me, don't let me. <laughs> All right, so you can see I have a lining at one side and a fabric at the other side. So when we're doing the stitch, the only thing we want to see is the fabric itself. So pay attention during the sewing, you're going to understand this. And also because the fabric is thick, so I must not use the entire fabric on the pocket side. So it's not going to be too thick on the waist, right? So that's why I have to use a lining for one side and a fabric for the other side. Whenever you're sewing this kind of a fabric with a thick texture, make sure, don't forget this. It is very important. So during the sewing on the sewing table, you're going to understand that part. The second thing we are going to do is the cuff on the edge, right? So this is the fabric I'll be using for the cuff on the edge. I cut it in bias, actually. I call this in bias. And from the top of the waist, I'm going to measure a total of 13 inches. I'm going to make a notch at that 13 inches. You can see that. That is where the taping is going to start from, all the way to the M. And also, so I'm going to just fix it like this. You can see what I'm doing here. Just place it from that M area. Just fold it like this. You're going to fold the edge. We're still going to go to the same machine and do this, but I have to explain to you guys first before we go ahead and do that. I'm going to stitch it all the way around to the edge, just like this. And also on this second one, also it has to stop at the same place. So I'm going to place this on top of the back panel, right? And simply notch the 13 inches as well. Make a notch at that 13 inches also. You can see that, that notch there, that's where the taping on the front panel also will start, just like this. All the way to the edge you can see that and then after that we're going to join it together but first we're going to start with our pocket joining we're going to start with our pocket journey so let's go to the sewing table and do this step by step 
So the first thing you can see on the pocket area, right? You can see that I already iron it and I have a gittles that is ready. So that's the line we are going to follow. Exactly the same way we used to do our senator trouser. Just in case you are in my class, you would have seen me do this several times on how to fix a pocket. So the first thing you're going to do is to face the right side to the table and the wrong side facing you. You can see that. So from that lining area, that's where I'm going to fix this first. Just place the trouser on top of the lining, just like this. So after we turn it, the side that is going to face the front is the right side of the fabric. I believe you understand that. So now, just place this like this. It is above like this. You see that? And simply start your stitch. And make sure you are not stitching exactly on top of the on top of the gators, on top of the line, right? You're stitching at the back of the line. Just like this. You see that? You're going to reinforce that, please. See that? Going to reinforce that, please. So after reinforcing that place, you're going to open it up. If you because the fabric is thick, all our advice is to weave that edge before you do the locking, right? But because this is going to be the inside of the pocket, right? It's going to be inside of the pocket. I'm just going to run a straight stitch at that place. And because the, the fabric does not like remove thread, so I'm going to run a straight stitch on that place. Just straight like this. You can see straight like this i'm going to lock the edge cut the thread out you can see you can see after that is done i'm going to turn the pocket backward you can see just like this then i'm going to lock the aim of the pocket. I'm going to lock that edge. Just pay attention at this place, just in case you haven't sewn a pocket before. It's easy. I'm going to sew it all around to where I have that chalk. Just straight. You can see that. So here, once I'm getting to this place, I'm going to go in deeper a bit. You can see. And I'm going to lock that edge like that. So let me show you guys this place very well. This part is quite important. You can see what that stitch looks like from that edge. You can see what that stitch looks like. That's important. So I'm going to make a notch at that place so that my pocket will easily be able to turn over. You see? And here, I'm just going to cut that part out. You see here? So after that is done, I'm going to simply do a turn over. You see that so once i turn that over i'm going to lock the edge this is what the pocket is supposed to look like you see what i'm having here so far i'm going to lock the edge first just run a straight stitch on the edge open it up like this you see what i'm doing i'm just going to hold the edge of the pocket you can see me You can see that just a straight stitch to hold the lining and the border is together. See that border stitch. This is what I have, just like that. So when I bring the pocket to the front, this is what I'll be having. So don't forget, I'll be pushing out my two inches. We folded two inches before on the pocket edge so i'll be pushing out the two inches so at this place i'm going to lock the edges edges of the pocket just like this you can see that
So after locking the edges, at the edge of the pocket itself, I'm going to bring out the two inches. Make sure that part is two inches. You're going to return the stuffing which you fold previously, two inches. Make sure it is enough. Measure it. Make sure your two inches is complete. You see that? Then I'm going to lock the pocket. You can see that I have my two inches outside. And just simply place this under. And lock the pocket. See that? Also this edge. Make sure it's balanced. Then I'm going to lock that part or two. Just a little bit of threading. Just lock that part as well. See that? See that? So this is what that pocket area will look like. And this is your pocket. See what I'm having so far. It's easy, easy, easy. If you're enjoying the tutorial so far, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. Smash the like button first. <laughs> All right, so here, I'm just going to tape the edges round. Don't forget, I cut these pieces in bias. I cut this in bias. And the wideness, I, I'm going to stitch this at half of an inch. And the wideness I cut is a total of 2.5 inches. So I'm going to simply, I'm going to stitch half of an inch. So I'm still going to have two inches. After folding, I'm still going to have some under. So just go like this. See what I'm doing? Take your time. Take your time. So I'm going to stop at that notch. Don't forget. Let me call this out a bit. You can see. Let's take your time. Simply lock that part. So you see what I have so far. So all we have to do now is just to simply turn it inside. So just like this, turn it. See what I'm doing here. Push it inside. Pull this side in also. You can see. You can see that. You can see that. So just put it in. And simply. So I'm, I'm stitching at the edge of the fabric. Not exactly on top of the fabric. At the edge of the fabric itself. That's where I'm going to be stitching. You can see. I just play, put it like this. And simply turn the fabric from the inside. You can see that. can see you can see what the inside will look like so just run a straight stitch all the way to the edge itself you can see that so just take your time just stitch all the whole edges all the way around see you can see what i have so after that is done you're going to do the same thing on the back panel as well this is the back panel exactly the same thing just go ahead and just do the stitching on the back panel also on that cuff edge for the back panel right we just did the front so do the same thing on the back as well you see what i have here all the way to the edge so after that is done you can see what i have here this is the back so after that is done i'm going to place the front on top of the back right you can see what i have so this edge, make sure the edge is locked very well.
So after that is done, I'm going to place the front on top of the back. So make sure the right side is facing the right side. And the piping are exactly at the same place, right? Make sure the piping are exactly at the same place. So I'm going to turn this over because I'm going to run the stitch from the down part. So just like this. Let's turn this over. I'm going to start the stitch all the way from here, all the way to the top, to the waist area, right? Simple. You can see that. So from this edge right here, I'm going to run a straight stitch all the way. You can see that. And a straight, straight stitch all the way. You can see. So what I have, so if I open it up, this is what I'm supposed to be having. That overlap on the edge, that's not an issue. Simply cut that part out. Easy peasy. See that? So that's what I'm supposed to be having in total. So what I have. So let me take you guys to the table and let's examine this part. So this is what I'll be having in total after the boots joining the back and the front together. If you want to add your back pocket, you can simply place a back pocket at that place. It's as simple as that. So after that is done, you're going to do the same thing on the second side as well. I'm not supposed to repeat that part. Just do the same thing. And you can see the pocket area. I will do the overlock. I weave that place and also the center part. I do. I weave that place also. You can see what I have there. So now, this is what one side is going to look like. See here, this is what one side will look like. See that? And this is the second one as well. Exactly the same result. Go ahead and do both. So you're going to have exactly the same result. After that, the next thing is to do our joining. We're going to join both the two sides together. But make sure you pay attention in this place as well. It's quite important. And do smash the like button if you are enjoying the tutorial so far. That's very, very important. So I'm going to just split this open. I'm going to open this up. If you are not getting this same result, go ahead and watch back and watch again until you are able to get this exact same result. I'm going to split it open and I'm going to place the front, the, the second side on top of it, just like this. You see that? The right side must be facing the right side right after that i'm going to make a stitch all the way to the edge and i'm going to leave like half of an inch at that edge also for the back also i'm going to make a stitch all the way to the edge and leave like half of an inch so after that we are going to do the locking so here is what i'm going to be having you can see that stitch you can see i leave like half of an inch at that edge and also the back panel as well you can see here and i leave like half of an inch at that edge once you do that open it like this again you're going to split it open just like this you can see then we are going to lock the crotch area so all you have to do is just to from the crotch area align the two crotch area and also the leg then you're going to run a stitch all the way like this to the edge and also here you're going to run the second stitch all the way to the edge so let me go ahead and do that then we can do our overlocking and the finishing after that we are going to do the waist part so let me go ahead and do that you can see what i'm having there's an opening that place so you can see i already run the stitch and if you look at the place you can still see there's an opening at that edge so now i'll be using my overlock at that area now so first i'm going to i have to like open this from the waist to the crotch area that's where i'm supposed to have a straight stitch right for this other side is supposed to end at that crotch area so i'm going to go ahead and do my overlock from both leg and end at the crotch area then i'm going to run a straight overlock from the back to the to the front you can see that that's a straight stitch and you can see that the leg actually stopped there 
So this is what we're going to be having here after is what our shot is supposed to look like. You see, do you see that how beautiful that's looking? This is what you're you're supposed to have. This is what your result is supposed to be. You see that? It's actually very, very simple. So after we are done with that, the next thing is to go to the waist. So all you're going to need for this one is your elastic. You're going to need your elastic. And you're going to need your waistband. So now, all you have to do is just to measure the wideness of your waist itself. You can see that. So here, I have a total of 18 inches. 18 inches plus 18. 18 plus 18, that's 36. So I'm going to cut this a little bit longer than 36. A little bit more than 36. So you can see I have a total of 19 here in total. 19 in total. So that 19 that I have now, I will be that's plus the joining allowance. So pay attention at this place. You're going to join and leave an opening for the rope. You're going to leave an opening for the rope. So pay attention. I'll, I'll show you guys how to get the opening for the rope. So here at this place, right? At the edge, the total wideness of the waist is four inches. So the waist is going to be a total of two inches when I fold them together like this. You can see two inches in total. So from the edge right here, let me, let me bring the camera closer, okay? So you can see it clearly. So from the edge, I'm going to measure my two inches, which is the center part. Let me mark that center part. From that two inches, I'm going to leave a quarter of an inch. I'm going to like mark it to a total a quarter of an inch. So from that quarter of an inch, I'm going to leave three quarter of an inch. I'm going to leave like three quarter or half of an inch from that place. You can see that's the opening that we are going to have. So from the top, I'm going to stitch this straight line all the way to that three, two three quarter. You can see. Then I'm going to leave that space, then stitch the other remaining. You see that? So let me take this to the same machine and do that so you're going to understand it very, very well. So this is what I have. You can see I did a stitch and I stop at that place. Then I start here again and I stitch it all the way to the end. So if I open this up, this is what I'll be having. You see that? So that part, that's, that hole is the one that's going to be in the front of the waist. It's going to be in the front of the waist. So I'm going to stitch the edges. I'm going to open the stitch inside, then stitch the edges. And the front is going to look like this. You see that? It's not as difficult as you think. So let me go ahead and do that and do that stitching. So here, I do a straight stitch from the inside. You see that? So from the outside, this is what I'm supposed to be having. You see this? So after that is done, the next thing is our elastic. So in order to get the elastic, depending on how, sh how much you want the, the elastic to shrink on the waist area, right? Depending on what you want. So here, I'm just going to be cutting. I'm going to fold it together. You can see, then I'm going to just measure and just leave some space in between. You can see that's the center part. Then I make it longer than the center part of the pocket. So if I drag the elastic backward, this is what I'm going to be having. You see that? That's the amount of shrink that I'm going to be having in total. I still want this to be a little bit. So I'm going to cut some pieces out of it. You see that? So if I join it together, you see it's almost at the middle. So if I join it together, then drag it, I should have a shrink like this. You see that? I should have the waist shrinking like this. So once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and join the elastic together. I'll join the elastic together. You can see, after joining the elastic just like this, make sure it is straight, straight like this. All you have to do is just to embed it in between the elastic itself is actually a total of 1.5 inches. It's not up to 2 inches, right? So we're going to place it inside of the waistband. Inside of the waistband. You can see that. Let's 
put it inside just like that then we are going to lock the edge first we're going to put it inside the waistband and lock use our sewing machine to lock that edge before we join it to our waist itself you can see let me take this to the sewing machine and do that joining first just lock it like this at the edge all the way around then after we can join it to the waist so once you join it this is what you're supposed to have this is what you're supposed to be having you can see this this is what your waist is supposed to look like after putting the elastic inside you see what, what i have here this is what you're supposed to be having so on my pants my short from the front panel i'm just going to place this like this put this inside just like you're seeing and i'm going to go ahead and run a straight stitch from the edge here and also you're going to get your center point at the back fold it together and get your center point so i'm going to start from the front and i'm going to stitch it all the way to the back. so here you can see from that center point let's hold it together like this you can see here you can see just join it make sure the right side is facing the right side the whole part has to be facing the fabric right and just place it on top of the under the stitch then we are going to join it together all the way around make sure the two notch align together then we're just going to stitch it straight all the way straight take your time make sure it's relaxed just stitch it straight 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 down see that you can see that the stitch is straight all the way then you join it together with the other one you can see what i'm having just like this just align it together see that just align it together make sure the notch actually align together with the back joining you can see you can see my notch at this place that's to align together with the back joining you can see that just take your time don't have to rush once you do the locking you can see that notch area make sure it's aligned together with that side Let's run a straight stitch all the way to the notch area. You can see that. I'm going to continue with the other side as you well. You can see that. Let's take your time. Just lock the final edges. So once that is done, you see what I have here. So the next thing is to interlock, overlock, <laughs> just to overlock that edges, just run it straight. Just overlock the edge. can see that you can see that Let's take your time just overlock the edges all the way to the end
And after that is what you're supposed to have. You can see the edges. You can see the front panel itself. You can see that. So let me take you guys to the table. So here, this is what your shot is supposed to look like. Finally, you can see that. You can see the inside, how clean the inside is looking. See that. So the next thing we are going to do is the top stitch on the waist itself. We're going to top stitch that waist all the way around. So we're going to have a double stitch here. The reason for that stitch is so that when you are tying the rope, the rope will not be moving around on the waist. It has to be in between the waistband itself. So we're going to do two stitch. We're going to create a line in between that stitch for the rope to pass around. It usually makes the clothes look more authentic if there's no stitch at that place as well. So let me go ahead and do the stitch. Then we can pass the rope. And this is what the stitch is going to look like. You can see just two stitch front all the way around. Then we can pass the rope. And you can see the final, final result. If you like the video so far, do make sure you smash the like button. That's very, very important. And do make sure you subscribe if you are yet to subscribe to the channel. So let me pass the rope. So you can see that the rope is going to exactly be at the center part. It cannot go beyond or under the rope itself. So I'm just going to pass the rope and you're going to see the final, final, final result. Let's do that. So this is going to be our final result, as you can see right here. It's as clean as possible. You can sell this. You can do mass production of this. You can gift someone this. You can as much whatsoever you can do you can do and if you want to learn more about tailoring i have a physical class i have six months apprenticeship i have um i have um as as long as you want and i do have an online classes if you're interested in that a link will be below or you can reach me on telegram or via whatsapp and make an inquiry about any of my classes i choose this two video on the screen for you guys to go ahead and watch next watch this two video next and i will see you in the next class do have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye. Peace.